At the heart of tractor collecting is remembering and cherishing how these great machines sunk heavy iron into the rich soil at the beginning of the season or helped bring in a field of corn that was ready for the bin. For one southeast Iowa farmer, the hard work these iron beasts can do is the collection. I did this in respect to my, my heritage, my, my dad, my grandfather. Um, I happen to be a farmer. I'm the seventh generation in the farm. I have two sons that are farming with me today. And we're keeping that heritage. They came from Germany, wanted to come to the New World and start farming. They kept moving west, and this is where they ended up at. And so I guess it's a heritage that I'm just trying to preserve. These machinery were important in their day, and they had a purpose. And some of the stuff they were designing was unbelievable. And uh, so that's why we do this show. For the better part of a decade, Dave Kobler of Ottumwa, Iowa, has cherished the land that seven generations of his family have farmed. Pride in farming spills over onto the machines he and his family use to write their story. So each year, toward the end of the harvest season, Kobler saves back 20 acres of crops for antique harvest days. Free of charge and open to the public, the event is a chance for people to read for themselves the chapters Antique Farm Machinery wrote on the Kobler Farm. The harvesting is spread out over a weekend, filled with shocking, threshing, shelling, and harvesting, with equipment ranging in age from the turn of the century to the 1960s and 70s. And while most tractor shows are focused on perfectly pristine farm equipment, this show shines on the dirt being turned as machinery from a distant era is worked to harvest history lessons for a new generation. Well, this is our livelihood, you know, this is what we've always grown up with, and this is what is farming and produces food, you know, this is how it all began. You know, these were the true inventors that started with nothing and they had to come up with something. They had to come up with a tractor or the Waterloo boy or, you know, they were trying to better themselves in lives. And we just drive by this stuff every day and see it, you know, and nobody respects how it really started, you know. Stuff's gotten better over the years and bigger, but they're the true inventors and the ideas are unbelievable what they came up with. Clamp the bolts down, which pulled the splines, because it has to be slid on to engage the spline. Guests to the farm have the opportunity to learn how the equipment works, whether it's the hand crank shellers or keeping the Waterloo boy running for the baler, everyone gets a chance to take a turn learning firsthand how these machines changed agriculture forever. The love of these old machines, like the love of farming, runs through the veins of seven generations of the Kobler family. DJ and Tyler represent the eighth generation working the land, and the tractor bug flows through them as well. I like the old ones. I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite. I've seen so many odd ones, and that's one thing cool about this show is we don't have you know, a lot of people and a lot of tractors, but I think we have a lot of different stuff that come to this show, you know. Oh, I think it's wonderful because the younger generation gets to see what's going on, how it used to be. It's not everything's big combines or anything. It just, it just what it used to be. And I was telling dad that I like how everyone brings something different and there's different ideas for this different stuff. A lot of people don't even know what a Model A tractor is. It just, people need to know this stuff because that's what it used to be. And people need to know history in my opinion because it's, it's very important. Hosts and guests alike recognize the importance about this one-of-a-kind, hands-on history lesson. Well, it demonstrates how things used to be done. All the hard labor that they used to put into it. And it's kind of a dying thing. These machines are hard to come by. Richard Taylor of Moulton, Iowa, volunteers every year for a chance to harvest some important memories. 
His multicolored tractor experience growing up helped him appreciate the diversity of all makes and models. While he can respect the modern conveniences of today's technology, he can't help but recall, first and foremost, remember where you came from. Yesterday, for instance, I was, I was able to uh, pick corn out here in the field and on a tractor-mounted picker, and uh, I used to enjoy that immensely, but it was 1984 was the last time we did anything like that, so I counted it up. It was, it was 31 years since I'd been on the machine. And there happens to be a friend of mine here today. He has the exact model of tractor and the exact model of picker and everything, and, and he let me ride it for a few rounds. And, and it was a very nice experience to, to reminisce and, uh, and uh, say, hey, I've been here before. Honoring where you have come from is the essence of antique harvest days. For Dave Kobler, watching the excitement on the faces of both young and old alike lets him know that his guests are harvesting memories for the next generation that will keep the lessons of rewarding hard work alive. The purpose of this is to keep from things from getting junked and tore out. They, everything had a purpose. I don't care what nationality, John Deere, international case, whatever. That's how this country got the way it is because of those type of inventing type people that made our society the way it is today. I guess what my purpose is to preserve that.